Hey guys, welcome back to the Barndo channel. This is Charlie Downs with 1845 Barndo Miniums. On this week's episode, we're gonna take you guys outside of Hallsville, Texas and show you a modified Laredo Barndo Minium that we call the Macy Farmhouse. Now, this is a three bedroom, two bath, 1700 square foot Barndo Minium. You'll see as we paint around the outside, you can see charcoal gray on the walls. Uh, we've got uh, black as our roof color and black also is our trim color on the corners and around our windows and doors. You'll see the layout here. We've got a small gabled front porch uh, on the house. And then we've got on the back side, we've got a lean to porch on the back side of the house and the shop. Now this is a really cool setup because we've got our three bedroom, two bath house connected to a shop. So in between, we've got a 25 by 25 carport area that serves as a breezeway between the house and the 25 by 30 shop that we've got over there. It's a really cool layout. Again, three bedrooms, two baths, around 1700 square foot. We're gonna take you inside today and show you the completed tour. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do that now. We would love to hear you got from you guys in the question and comment area below. You can check us out on our social media pages, uh, TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. Those are 1845 Barnuminiums. And then of course you can visit our website, 1845barnuminiums.com. If you or anybody you know is interested in getting the process started of making your dream home a reality with 1845, just go to our website, send us some information, let us know a little bit about your project, and one of our sales team members would love to talk to you about how to get that process started of making your dream home a reality with 1845 Barnuminiums. I'm excited to show you guys this house today. Let's head inside the Macy Farmhouse and show you the completed tour. All right, guys. So as we head in, like we said in our intro, this is a Laredo floor plan, almost to a T. Now what you'll see, we have a lot of variations of the Laredo. Uh, the closets can be different, the master layout can be different. We can flip which side is the master, which side is uh, bedrooms two and three. But this is, this is pretty close to what we would consider a true Laredo layout. So I'm just gonna kinda pan around and show you what's so popular about this layout is if we're in the kitchen here, You've got this big open area that's combined with the living area. And so this is what makes this floor plan really, really popular is it just spans big open area. We can go 25 feet on that if we need to. We're gonna start in the kitchen here and show you guys, we've got shaker style cabinetry. We do have under cabinet lighting as well. We will be installing glass on those top cabinets up there for some visibility. We've got a combination of drawers and shelves. That's just completely designed by the homeowner and the cabinet installers. They just go and tell them what they want and we make it happen. We've got tile backsplash all the way around. Just off the kitchen area here, we do have a designated pantry space. We've got countertops to match here, shaker style cabinetry again. And then we've got some shelving over the top that you'll see matches our cased opening and uh, the other shelving throughout the house and our beam in the living room. So we've got white on the main cabinetry. The island is painted black and we've got cabinets under there as well. We've got floating shelves here on the sink side. We've got a twin window over a undermount, over an undermount uh, kitchen sink, floating shelving on both sides. And then we've got our laundry room here, which we'll come back to in just a minute. We've got an oven range combo here with vent hood above. You can see our cabinetry. Again, we've got those uh, glass openings there. We'll be putting that glass in very shortly. We should be completely done with this house uh, either today or tomorrow. So we wanted to go ahead and kind of sneak in here before they moved in. So we've got lots of natural light coming in. We do have black on black vinyl windows. We've got a full glass eight foot door for our entrance. And you can see we've got a matching door back there in the kitchen area to go off the back porch. Beautiful cased opening, stained wood. And then if I back up and show you guys the beam that we've got going through the vault here, along the vault, we've got that same stain color. Our shelving, everything matches with that same stain color. So I'm gonna take you over here and show you bedrooms two and three. Standard size rooms. We do have one by four and one by six trim, as you'll see as we go through all of these rooms. We've got a single window here. And then I wanna show you, we've got different closet setups. Same size rooms, just a little different on the closet setup. This one, we've got a lot of hanging uppers and lowers. And then we've got our shoe cubby 
positioned kind of in the corner there. And I'll show you the other closet in just a second that has a little bit different layout. We've got a lighter color in here. We have a gray in the living kitchen and everywhere else in here. We've got a little bit lighter color. And then as we go across the bedroom three, you'll see a darker gray in here. Single window as well. Our same one by four and one by six trim. But I want you to notice a little different closet setup. Same size closet, just a different setup. We've got our cubbies in the middle here, uppers and lowers and shelving on top. But that's something that we customize with the homeowners when we're going through the building process. We actually come in and draw on the walls what they want. They tell us what they want to do, where they want things, and then we just try to make it happen as best we can. Got one large vanity mirror light there, cultured marble sinks. That's a full molded sink and countertop all together with a four inch backsplash. We've got our shaker style cabinetry and on the bottom, the drawers as well. And then we've got a full insert, a, a correction, tub shower combo. It's not, a, not an insert. So we've got a molded cultured marble tub and then we've got a cultured marble surround with the standard shower head installed there. And then we've got some shelving behind the door here that matches our shelving everywhere else as far as the stain color goes. If we go across, we've got our mechanical room right here. You can see the fresh air mounted above because we've got full size doors here. Typically we would have smaller doors with the fresh air here, but with, with the customer requesting full size doors there, we just made a minor adjustment with our HVAC guys. In the master wing over here, we've got single window to match the aesthetics of the outside of the house. And then as we come into the master bathroom, we've still got our shaker style cabinetry there. We've got double sink vanities. We've got one more mirror to hang up on the left side. And then we've got a linen cabinet in between. So we've got a division there uh, between the two sinks. We've got an open toilet area and then a very large cultured marble shower. We've got a pony wall there that we can do a glass wall there. We can do glass door. And we have a standard shower head there with a fixed window above. We do not have a rain head shower head in there. Customer did not want that. And then our master closet, we've got upper and lower hanging rods and then shoe cubbies basically like we see in a lot of our homes just designed by the homeowner as to where they wanted everything on our door trim i get asked this more and more every week we've got mitered there and then another question that we get asked and i'm going to try to find there's one right there so a question that we get asked a lot that I'm gonna talk about in this video is our corners, whether they're bull-nosed or they're squared. This is squared corners on the sheetrock. If you can see that, that's at a 90 degree angle. Our trim is at a 90 degree angle. And so this is what we would call squared corners. Now we can round those and that's called bull-nosed. And that's something that we ask homeowners when we sit down and do specs we talk about that detail. We can see in our window seals as well. We ask that, do you want squared or rounded there? Because we can do squared on the corners, rounded in the window seals. But we want to make sure it's exactly what you want. So let's head over here to the laundry area and we'll wrap up our video for today. So just off the kitchen, we've got our laundry room here, kind of our mud room. We do have a folding table here with matching countertops with the kitchen. We've got some shelving here. Again, you see that same stain color as throughout the rest of the house. We do have our washer and dryer connection and then our recessed dryer vent there. We've got room to put a refrigerator or anything else that we want. Single window for some sunlight. And then we step out right here and we're on the 25 by 25 two car carport. So that's going to wrap us up for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour.
All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this week's episode on the Barndo channel. Again, we're outside of Hallsville, Texas with a floor plan that we're calling the Macy Farmhouse. This is a Laredo layout, but a three bedroom, two bath at 1700 square foot. And then we've got our 25 by 25 carport over here that acts as a breezeway to a 25 by 30 shop, all connected, all on the same slab. And it turned out to be a really, really cool layout. Uh, charcoal gray is our exterior color. We've got a black roof and black trim, and it just turned out really gorgeous. If you would uh, like to subscribe to our channel, we'd love to have you go ahead and do that now. We'd love to hear from you in the question or comment area below. Uh, you can check us out on our social media pages, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, those are 1845 Barnuminiums. And then of course our website, 1845barnuminiums.com. If you would like to purchase the Macy floor plan, we do have all of our floor plans available online. All, you can find them on our website. If you can't find the one that you're interested in, just give us a call or let us know. And we do have these available for purchase if that's something that you're interested in. If you or anybody else you know uh, is interested in getting their dream home started and making that a reality, we would love to talk to you. You can fill out some information on our website. Uh, set, let us know a little bit about your project and one of our sales team members would be happy to show you how to get that process started. So that's going to wrap up this week. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys again next week.